now. But beat is and I'll tell her the day. Because it's a world, I think it's in the world this is yours. And I'm like, they ain't talking like this. So whoever you think is the best, they not making the world is yours. They're not making, if I rule the world, they're not making juice, they're not making Buying my style, I hope they got dental plans. So get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man. What you get? get that pure dope. What you get? Get that pure dope. Do? Go get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man. Get, get, get that pure dope. It's always got problems. It's, it's always, always king. Because Major's, Major's good. Major's good. It's me. Handsome. Back with another episode of Verse for Verse. Got the family in the building. Yes, James sir. Rich, Big U, Mojo the Poet is in here. You feel me? You know you don't go by Mojo the Poet, right? You do? Mojo, Mojo the Poet? Mojo, Mojo the Poet? whatever you want to be. Okay. I'm Mojo the Traveler, Mojo the Poet, mm -hmm. aka Mojo just to be Mojo. You know, I talked to Cell a couple times about like poetry and mm. spoken word. Two different things? Um, yes. It's well, yes and no. So, poetry is just a written literation of okay. like words, where it's like you have it in a format or form, in a, a poetic form or poetry written in different styles. But, like a haiku could be a poem. Yes, and that's poetry. Mm -hmm. But a spoken word is just what it's saying. So I'm speaking my words. I'm 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 um creating a scene, and, I, and a lot of times it doesn't even have to rhyme, but it's mm. a it's more of an expression. It's uh. Gotcha. It's a performance. Uh, and it's 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 the whole theatrics of poetry. Gotcha. Nice. Gotcha. All right. So we got Mojo. You hear me? Who does spoken word and poetry? He does yeah. he does yeah, this? Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. So do every does every person that does spoken word are they poets? That's so crazy. You say that. Like so, I did a performance years ago. With, um, uh, Rolando, my man, uh, natural, natural at the um, Children's Aid Society for the kids one time. Right. And I remember after I did my poem, I think I went like third or something like that. Everybody kept saying like, "Wow, man!" Like, because it was like <laughs> I was my shit was rhyming, right? Like everything, it was like it was like if you took it and read it, it would still be mm. the same on paper, just like I performed it. Gotcha. So they was like, "Wow, you you do like real poetry." Mm -hmm. It was just a weird feeling. <laughs> you like, do like, real like, poetry huh? <laughs> because it was. And it, it, what I'm saying that's crazy is because. I used to feel weird because I didn't do it like everybody else. Mm. Like how you've seen on Deaf Poets, just mm. like the yeah, whole Deaf yeah. Poets Jam and all that. Like I just had my way of doing it and I was like, oh, I'm not doing it all fancy like these people right. do it. But it's, yeah, it was like a mixture of both, basically. I yeah. feel like when people do spoken word, they got to like stutter like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, you know all like, that. Ah. All that. <laughs> they do, you know what I mean? Like the joke of, yeah, the moon, the stars. Word. And then uh -huh. the, and all uh -huh. the snapping and yeah. all that. Like, see, I wasn't, that wasn't me. Not at all. I just wasn't that type okay. of poet. You know, and you know, it's just funny that I mentioned in poetry you being a poet, because one of my poets that I, poems that I remember is from the Love Boat joint. Legendary. You know what I'm saying? Dance of romance. And, yeah, dance of romance. And, you know, we're going to talk about love and element. affection today. So, love you know. Love and affection. Okay. So, you okay. know, I, I, obviously I want to Future. talk to you about. Sorry, continue. Love, but you know, <laughs> I, I need you to give us that 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 real love. That's not just the poetry love. Tell us mm. the reality love, and not just try to make the women feel nice inside. You that, know what I'm saying? That, that, that uh, like how you did it. Um, what's that? What's what's my movie? Um, that Brother role. from the Night and all that. Mm -hmm. That role. That real oh, nice. Love Jones. Love Jones. Let's start Who with um, you know. Rich usually has a lot to say. Oh so, my Jesus. <laughs> Rich, what is uh love and affection, right? Like when I ask, I mean like can you have one without the other? Like can you have love and not have affection? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think affection kind of like you was talking about spoken word and poetry. I feel like affection is like the display of love. Mm. Mm. That's mm, how I, I kind of would nice. look at it. Yeah. So yeah. man, and we don't. And I was talking about myself. I don't always feel like showing affection. Don't mean I don't love you, mm. but I'm not always in the mood to be showing affection. All right. What um, about what about you, Seth? Are you an affectionate man? I can be. 
<laughs> I think that's, that's man, such a guy's be. or man's thing, but I, I, you know. Yeah, I, I feel like um, so you will be as affectionate as your affection is received mm, and I like that and reciprocated. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not gonna I be a guy. That. You're not gonna keep throwing affection out, throwing affection out, throwing affection out, and if it's not returned, you know. So depending on. So like, what like you're with saying my wife, is, so, no, I'm saying like with my okay, wife. Okay, guess I'm I was with my wife. She got you. My, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you're affectionate. Yeah. Yeah. So it can be, but that's what I mean. We can all be but the re- the many reason, things. The reason I said that I like what, what you said because the consistency of it, like, because I, I, I agree with like. I thought you were saying yeah. me just like as me because when nah, you, right, so my bad. you join Let me, me in with my spouse. I'm just talking about with your spouse mostly. Like, like uh, that's what I really am talking about okay. with your uh, woman. Okay. We're gotcha, all gotcha. affectionate. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you yeah, are yeah. an affectionate man yeah, when you got yeah. a woman. That's yeah. your yes. face. You should be, Yeah, at least. I mean, I'm just, I, I agree with what he said. Like, what he said for me is spot on. It's like, you only as, I... I'm only as affectionate, like as much as it moves the needle. I guess. <laughs> and the, the reason I, when he said that made me think about like I was never super affectionate until I had children, and then I realized I'm extremely mm-hmm. affectionate with them. Like it's like crazy, but that's not so much with your wife. Generally. I am, but not as much. Gotcha. Not as much. So that's when I realized. I think with kids though, they reciprocate it so much that it's like I just keep doing it because they gonna keep giving it back. You know what I'm saying? So I think me, that's kind of how I am a little bit. Okay, so now yeah. let's flip it a little yeah. bit, Mo. How that's much right. do you like affection on a scale of one to ten? How much affection are you looking for? Mm. One to ten. Um, because I, I equate affection to attentiveness too. Mm-hmm. So it's right. like, um, and we as even as manly men, masculine in this world that we have to you know get through, we need mm-hmm. that. So I'm pretty high, like eight, nine, man. Like I, mm. I, you know, I just even if it's a quick couple seconds, right. and that's also the thing which I was gonna say before is that our reception to uh, affection can come in so many forms, man. Right. It could, it can be a, just a look, or it could be something that just mm-hmm. makes us feel warm inside, like Thanks. just the smallest little detail that only you and that person experience together. I mean, like I could be affectionate with my woman right now, and y'all and you probably won't know, know, yeah. It. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But we'll talk. Me and her will talk about it later. Like right. you know, that's why I love you, girl, because you get you do yeah. that thing. You yeah. know what I yeah. mean? So right. yeah, that's up there. The, the high eight nine. Same thing. Yeah. You yeah. stuff high up there. Yeah, and and in that way though. Yeah. So like, in uh, a big part of affection to me is consideration, because your affection cannot be one size fits. Yeah. Oh, it only fits mm, that, like that particular person. Mm-hmm. So you got to be constantly considering what means the most to this person, what is going to move the needle, like mm-hmm. he said, the mm-hmm. most for that person. <laughs> mm-hmm. So whenever, whenever you're doing whatever it is, it might be something, a small gesture from you, but you know it's going to mean a big deal to the person. And yeah. I mean, for me, it'd be the same thing. It could be some small shit, but it would mean a big deal for me. So, yeah. Yeah. So- same thing goes for you, Rich, because I have a feeling I might be wrong, <laughs> but you don't need affection. Like, that's not a high thing that you need in your life. Like, obviously, we all want it. We enjoy it. But it's not something that's prioritized for you. This way, you may be wrong. I'm just so, asking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was going to piggyback. Well, veggie back. Shout out to 19 Keys. Veggie back off of um, Mo veggie that's back. Fine. and like say... That. um. I think we need it more than most. Talking about black men, mm-hmm. yeah. like we need it more than most. Um, mm. For me, it's energizing, so I do need it mm. um, a lot. Like it's a ten for mm. me. Like mm-hmm. it's necessary, mm-hmm. especially I think also for people who have a high output, like that are constantly putting things out. Yeah. You need yeah. to be filled back up, Paul. See that he you said know what was saying? perfect. The Real. energy shit that was perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real. So yeah. I, I think wow. for us navigating this world yeah. and not always feeling appreciated, not always feeling seen or heard or respected or valued, um, the affection does that. It makes you feel mm-hmm. seen, valued, you know, and all that. Yeah, like before I came here, I asked Tansy, I was like, am I affectionate? She was like, yeah, you're like super affectionate, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And I'm like, that's crazy. Like I knew it, but you know, if it's not actually like received. being, yes, yeah. being received a certain way, 
I'm not, I wasn't sure. Like, I feel like I am, you know what I mean? I know what I like to do. I know what I like to receive. But sometimes it's like, I'm unsure. Like, am I, is she accepting and, you know what I mean, this affection that I'm giving? Does she want all mm-hmm. of this affection? You know what I mean? Right. Um, so I, I right. think what I'm going into here is, we want affection from our women, the our yes. spouses, the ladies yeah. we're dealing with. Definitely. But can we go other places and receive affection if we're not receiving <laughs> we? it at home? What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. like is can there we? not I right, can you only get affection from somebody that you actually know personally? Oh, I get what you're saying. I think I get what you're saying. Tell me what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gone out looking for affection? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, obviously, probably you guys don't. I about to say I have <laughs> right. You in, never. I mean, in in years. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like how long? Where, I where, my wife. where would one go looking for affection? I mean, from nightclubs, and right. I'm talking about as a man, uh-huh. a man, hey, <laughs> as a man, <laughs> as a man. You know, as, as a, a man. man. You know, we as men. No, we go to nightclubs. We go to uh, just bars, dive bars. And then, of okay. course, you know, you have strip clubs and you have church, gentlemen clubs. <laughs> church. And, and just places where you church, just though. want affection from something or someone, right. you know, just to give you want attention in a like sense. Like the cheers thing. You want to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it's always magic Sometimes game. It's just a bar. Yeah. Just have a drink and a bartender. That's why they say bartenders are like freaking. Therapist, uh, therapist yeah. man. All like you just divulging all your information and telling your story, and and some people just like somebody to just listen, and that's an affection, and that's a form of affection as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or someone to just to smile and give you conversation, right, and it right. could be a random, like I don't even know who you are. Mm. Which you know, I've I've experienced that, of course, plenty of times. I'll go to somewhere and it just be a like, not even like forced. Like I'll say something, and the person next to me or the female is like, "Oh, hey, you did and you just get into conversation, and that's then you. I feel good, like, "Oh, wow, you know, somebody is just talking to me, and I don't even know this person, and she's really feeling my energy and right. my vibe." So, getting into that, can somebody fake affection with you? A hundred percent. Is that what they do at the strip clubs? That's what they're supposed to do. Mm. That's their job. Their job is to to give you an experience, is to give mm. you the dream while you're in those that can find in that space. The same way the church gives people that spiritual mm. blessing and that word behind them walls and that, that building, same thing goes to um, strip clubs. And, and of course, this is my own opinion. So I feel balls, like it's church. I'm about to say, he got that balls. The, y'all that's, not, that's not listening the, close enough. That's nah. with the quotation nah, on the... Like on some real, he said real that shit. Spirit, like, that word behind like them walls. <laughs> strip it is, is because... <laughs> Again, if you're not if you if you're single, you're not with nobody, and you're not getting receiving that even from like a family member or a friend, having that girl in that strip club smile at you and making you feel like you're the only thing in the room at that moment. I mean, it could be like shit, two minutes, a minute. Mm-hmm. You are that's the world for that minute. You know what I mean? You seeing things like you, your confidence. You're like, oh, I'm that right. guy. <laughs> How many? Well, yo, give me some more drinks. <laughs> I mean, like, like you in, you inside now. You're like, yo, we here. Keep the liquor flowing. Yeah, let's go. Where the shots at? You yeah. want a shot too? You asking her? She want to? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. You, you right. get your energy is up, and that goes not just for strip club, but that's what I'm saying. Any scene where there's a, like either alcohol, obviously, or just a room full of people, stranger that are looking for something. Should we right? open a strip church? <sighs> Listen, uh, I mean, it's tr- it's been church for me for years. <laughs> so. I mean, and you know, like, strip church. you know, when you say you can get the affection from all these places, and the reason I bring up strip clubs is because, like I said, like the faking of it, like, mm-hmm. you know, wanting real affection and going somewhere where their job is to make you feel a certain way, it's like, it kind of sucks. No, it does. And you know what the problem is, too, which is so crazy, is that. That person now, that on the other side. So let's say that person is giving me that fake shit. Now mm-hmm. I'm leaving. I probably not even see this person ever again. But now they have created this whole shit in their own world. So I feel that that's what makes it hard for them now to ever love someone or ever mm. give that to somebody they care about. Because now if I know that's what you did, this is why they say like, no man is gonna wife up a stripper if they know it's like it's tough because it's like damn you was giving all this the same thing to everybody away. yeah so mm-hmm. it's like so I feel like it desensitizes you in a sense of like 
really understanding how to give or even receive because oh, you you're so yeah, used yeah. to it not being real. So you're right. It, 100%. It, put, it, 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 puts it can a be woman, a detriment. It puts a woman time. in her manipulation mindset. Yeah. Mm. All the time. That, all the time. That godly manipulation that James Rich talks about. That's why, that's why they get taken to church. <laughs> so, so Mo, have you ever dated a stripper? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. No, because you know you're speaking on it. So I, no, because, I wanna, all right, let's, let's, let's talk. Because, I mean, to, I, we just said that nice and nonchalant. Yeah, I yeah. answered very quickly. But at the same time, <laughs> let me explain. So at the end of the day, not every, like, the perception of strippers and the people they are is not always what it is. You know what I mean? What you see on TV, what you see in these movies, it ain't always as grimy and as dirty. These girls, these women... They're like real people, but this is something that they found in a way to get income. Just like anybody doing anything. Right. So I've dated women that were stripping, but yet they were in college or they this was their second job. This is to pay their tuition. This is to pay the tuition. <laughs> and this is just to was like a second job. Just like anybody get a second job. Like, oh, I'm a a, a nurse by day, but then I go work the restaurant mm -hmm. at night. It's right. the same thing mm -hmm. for a lot of these strippers. But of course you won't know that unless you have the conversation. Right. So I've had conversations and really built like incredible bonds with some of these girls that like outside of that club, you wouldn't even know they were a stripper. Right. Mm -hmm. Versus inside the club, you're like, oh yeah, you look like a stripper. Because <laughs> what you because that's the energy. So you have you around. met women that ended up being strippers, or most of the time you meet strippers that end up being other women too? Like <laughs> other women. What? <laughs> yeah, wait, what? Like, cause you so said you know, you wouldn't know that they lived these... Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Have you yeah, ever no, no. met a woman that... Yep. And then uh, found out she was a stripper you're right. Yes, 100%. Mm. And like, currently, I'm going to just say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no. A person that, that <laughs> like, basically escaped it, as, mm. in a sense. Just like, as men, maybe we escaped the streets. We were a drug dealer at one time, but now I went to school, got a job, mm. now I got a career. Same thing with a lot of these girls. They, they, that's what they did at that time, and now they moved on. They got a job, career, whether they got kids or they're looking to get married. But every but, now and then they go pick up a bag. Well, I mean that's on them. I don't, I don't know those no, people. I know that's why I was asking. Christmas yeah, that's time. Exactly. Oh, oh, you Most meet a, a girl who's a nurse. Christmas coming. Christmas and coming. You, you just start dating, and then and you find like, out no, she's a stripper. Yeah, no, absolutely. not that she no, used no, to strip. No, that she still, oh, that she's still doing. That's her second job. Have, now I haven't met that. Mm. I'm saying most of the time you meet women in the strip club and they like this is my else. second job. Yeah. I do. Or I've met the I guess retired after, after, retired. after the fact. Retired I've never stripper. met someone that's like stripper. oh I also <laughs> strip. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I, 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 I've, I've like seen, oh yeah I work over here but I, I, I also be you know throwing it back on, over on here on like nah social I, media I and uh -huh. I find out that they're strippers. Like, oh, you strip. I see you yep. trying to keep it low key, but you're a stripper. I can uh -huh. tell. I actually had a staff mm. that had bad uh, time and attendance at yeah. work. <laughs> and we used to be like, how come you always I late? Why. You yeah, call so tired. Tired. <laughs> and we found out that she was working hard. The graveyard night. shift. Yeah, she was yeah. working too hard. Mm. Working to work day on time. and night. Wow. So do you think rough. men have a problem showing affection? Like, is that something that we struggle with, or I mean, I know and for I'm, me, and I do. Obviously, okay. Must yeah. know you I mean, I do. It's funny. I mean, I was just talking about this earlier. You know, I'm a I'm a teacher and trainer, and I was just talking about this. Like, I feel like I wasn't raised with a lot of affection, so I don't even know how. Sure. I I never knew how to do it until mm -hmm. my children. Like for me, it's always been awkward for me. It's always been strange. Like, why do I got what? Like affection. Like, why I got to hug, kiss you? That's not what I do. Right. Um, but when I, I get this money, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you need a hug for, nigga. I get this money. Nah, but then when I have my, man. when I have my daughter though, it was like, damn, I can't stop kissing this girl. It's it's, it's crazy. Right. So yeah, for me, it's definitely definitely hard. It's a hundred percent. And you know, obviously, me and you, we got boys. How is it showing your son affection? Is it the same? Like he was the first one too. That's, so yeah. Now that, I'm that's so straight because I was gonna go off what he was saying, but nah, just to go there mm -hmm. actually, because that's even better. Um, I think as 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 men, and I want to speak in general, but as for, for me, I didn't receive that type of affection from my dad. I received you know punishments. I received all kinds of other. things formats of mm -hmm. love right but like just straight affection or yeah. even like that real just hug like i can't remember when i was young my father hugging me like that so i'm saying that to go for him as well as to go right. towards what you're saying mm -hmm. so 
we we do, we're not taught this, man. It's, yeah. There's no books on this, man. We learn. We're taught to be tough. You fall. You you get up. You walk it off. You know all right, that. Right, right. But then now, like he's saying, with my son, like I love that boy so much, <laughs> man. I grab him and I, I uh, and, and and I'm doing it because I didn't get it, Joe. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here with you. Like, I'm it's, here a, with you. it's a different I'm hug. Here and I'm, with you. I'm kissing him on his cheek and everything. Listen, man. On his forehead. Yo, you're going to take this love. Yeah. You, you take this love. Because yeah. I, I love you. Like, it's real. No, nah, it's a, and it's such a great feeling, too, man. Right. And then, like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's different. It's different. Like, you're right with a boy because I was a boy and I didn't get it to do it. So it's like, where am I getting it from? Right. Then it goes to what you're saying. Yeah. It's just that's your boy, that's your son, that's your child, that's your seed. I had this theory Shit. that you I had this theory that I had a while back. I never really cultivated it, but I felt like especially as a man, but I think in general you kinda learn how to love like from your father. And I, that sounds weird, but the reason I think that is because I think as men, there's like a, there's like a social like a gender so, so societal thing about how we Touch and mm-hmm, things like mm-hmm. that, right? If you do it, certain things, they call you gay. Well, stuff, yeah, like that, and and and, and just your comfortability mm-hmm. with closeness mm-hmm. to people. And if you think about it, your father is another man, but if he's getting close to you, it would make I would imagine it would make a young boy more comfortable mm-hmm. being close and physically close and physically right. affectionate to other people. So, like you said, like I I don't remember ever being close to my dad. I I don't remember him ever hugging me. Kids, I'm sure he has, but I don't remember much of it. So for me, it's like. I feel awkward when people are very close to me to mm-hmm. this day. That's what I'm saying. I Even though, to this like, day. But I, I do want to yeah. say this too, though, all for that. It's like he didn't give me that direct affection, but little things like when I would just go with him to the store late at night and I, when I'm walking with him, like it would be just his attention right. to me. That was enough. Yeah, but like, I think there's a difference things, between closeness. That's why I just talked about that specifically. But yeah, no, no, no. I'm I talking about like saying. the fit, the no, physical real. closeness. I mm-hmm. think you learn, you you get what's the word? You exposed to it by mm-hmm. your parents. And I think as yeah. a man, your father making it feel okay, like oh, it's okay if you know, even with you, like you're my brother, but I don't want to be all on top of you. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Mm-hmm. That's I, not my Paul. Like, that's not my thing. <laughs> no, but no, but you see siblings that are like that. You see yeah. siblings that yeah. brothers that don't yeah. mind. I mean, hugging each other up like it's, it's just not who I am. You know what I'm saying? The, and the shit that's crazy is um, because I watched y'all raised up around me, and we have different fathers. And my father, for a large part of my earlier life, was not really around yeah. much in my life. Mm. But the time, the small amount of times that I was around, he was super vulnerable and open with me. Mm. So I have a different experience. It's crazy. Yeah, where that's wild. You guys were around your your pops, like yeah. all the time right. He lived lives. with us yeah. the entire yeah. life. We've yeah. been yeah. with him. Had a whole yeah. different like. Yeah. That's. that's it's crazy. deep, man. Yeah. It's, it's real. Man, though. I'm getting the chills over here talking <laughs> about this stuff, man. Yeah. Ah, because I, I, I want to say, like, you know, like, you know, I don't want to talk too crazy about that, but um, I definitely, you know, think about, like, what Mo said. It's like, at this point, I, you know, they say how you were raised, you'll end up raising your kids, like, or you do the opposite of how you, you were raised. Yeah. The voice right. that, that was, so it's yeah. like, I know certain ways that I might feel about dad at times, and I'm like, I would hate for my son to ever feel that way about ever. me. Yeah, that's you it. You know right what I'm saying? There. So I'm going to do certain things that I know I felt the way about to mm-hmm. make sure they can never say I didn't do this or do that or this, and, I, right. and they missed out on that. I mean, for me, I, I didn't look at like something I ain't like. It was just what it was. Like, I never, was, when I was like 25, like, damn, I wish my I mean, dad hugged me more. I never thought like that. What if he I just did, realized that, now. You know, it, you, we could be totally different people than we are now. Possibly. But, and, that and, was, and, and, and that's, what, but that's what I'm getting to. I'm, I, mm. I wouldn't want my life to be any other way because I love who I am. And I feel like I, I am the way I, I am too. because I of all, that that's all of those things. Yeah. You know and the other thing that, you know, Mo didn't mention just now, but I think if you had a boy now, it would be a little bit different. I think, personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's, like you said, having a daughter, it's, a, it's simple. It's simple. You know what I mean? But having a boy and not growing up with your father hugging you and now hugging your son when mm-hmm. that wasn't happening to you. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? My, my, his boy's really big now. Yeah, you know what I mean? My I son's 14. Still hug him. I right. don't care. Yeah. You know I mean, what I mean? So I, I, it's I think, one thing as a, a baby boy, a I child, think that's a person, but as they get yeah. older, he might get uncomfortable depending on how you're treating him. Like yeah. you said, right now, how you are, you're not comfortable with people being around you. But but not with, but I think if with my child, it would be different, personally. That's just what I think. I mean, if it was a boy, either or no, I'm not girl. saying yeah. I'm not saying you. I'm saying him, depending on how you're you're act you're 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 treating him how you're loving him yeah. if you hugging him and stuff like yeah. that you know what i mean I like what you're you know you grow up around certain kids who they parents they pops ain't there so now they like oh look at you and your pops you get right. made fun of for your pops hugging you possibly <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. my pops, they got, my pops you, used to you. hug me kiss me this is what i'm saying yeah. but you know yeah. they got like, the movies like a kid they don't want to say I love you back to their pops right, in front of the right. kid, in front of the school and stuff. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Or I say, yeah, but I don't get off the phone without that. He's yeah. going to say it back, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Listen, my that, son like... say it before me at this point. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, it's man. beautiful. Nah, it is, man. It is a beautiful thing. But, um, so I, we were talking about love and affection all of this time. Well, this is, this is verse for verse. <laughs> this is verse for verse. You know what I mean? And the reason I brought this up is because this song to me was a dope record. You know, I was really young when it came out, but it's it's, it's a it's a banger. You know, we all love it. And I feel like this dude, I don't know if he was just raised a certain way to make this song because I wanted to bring this up too. As rap artists, we all, you know what I mean? I don't, I haven't, I had to get older to write an affectionate song, I feel. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I wrote affectionate songs when I was younger. You know what I mean? You, rapper slash singer, I don't know. Did you write affectionate songs about women or how, what do you think? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? When I was young? Like, I guess I mean, how I'm saying, young, though. I, like, I don't yeah, know no, when I, I started. So, I'm thinking, cause, like... Because I wrote R&B music. That's what I'm saying. So it's a little a different. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 that yeah. music is... But the artist I'm talking about is Common with Doing the Light. You know what I mean? Shit. And I think Sheesh. this record, he shows he that future. that love and affection in this song. For you know what I mean? And I need love and <laughs> cause affection. Because he has an actual song that says that. Nah, but he's lying, though. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, it's a line in that, too. That When we get to it, we're going to get to it. He says that. It's, it's a form of affection without being affectionate. He says it. We're going we're gonna to talk about that. So, yeah. So, we're going to talk about this Chi-Town legend right here. You know, we've done an episode. Go. And, you know, this is why this is dope. Because if you remember, I actually looked back in our text messages when I sent oh, you. Oh, that's right. I did it, was that, January, yeah. it was like January 19th when we first started shooting. I was yeah. hitting them up. Like, yo, I want you to come up. We're going to do some comment. I'm at different joints. Yeah. So, the text is still there. So, I'm like, let's run it back. We ended up doing Faithful that time. You Love know what I mean? Man. With us that's three. Perfect. He would make it. But, Love um... Yeah, and like I said, no, I know we're one of the do. greatest rap songs ever, in my opinion. Shit. <laughs> so, my God comment starts off like this, verse one. I never knew a, lo a, lo a love like this. Gotta, Gotta be, be something, something for me to write, write this. this. Queen, I ain't seen Queen you in a minute. minute. Wrote this letter and, and finally decide, decide to send it. Signed, sealed, delivered for us to grow together. together. Love has no limit. Let's spend it slow forever. forever. I know your heart's weathered by what studs did, did to you. you. I, I ain't a soak. I probably did, did it too. too. Let's stop there. You know I mean, let's just talk about how he comes in. Pause. Oh Yeah. I never knew a love, a love, love like this. You know what I mean? Gotta be something for me to write this. And I think maybe that goes That's into... That's what we're talking about too. Yep. What I'm saying, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, and then me saying I didn't write an affectionate song. Maybe I didn't have that affection yet as well mm -hmm. to write it. Right. Write you didn't feel it. anything yeah. worth showing it. Facts. Mm. Facts. You know what I mean? When did you first write your affectionate love poem or rap? Wow, man. Um early. I mean, mm. but it was again, like I said, some affection is just it's different. So it wasn't based off of like the natural affection we're thinking of, you know, right. the hugs, and all, but it was just the love of, of whether it was family or just just being around in certain situations or seeing it. And, you know, like I, you know, I always I looked up to my um my older cousin who's the same age as me, and I see relationships. Like mm -hmm. I, I admired his relationship. So my poems then on affection was what I seen, right? And what I just like kind of what Common is saying, like. You know, he didn't know it took something mm -hmm. to bring him there. So, and, yeah. And you know what I also think as early in the song, he's addressing the fact that even if, because I'm an R&B nigga, so 
I was writing affectionate songs at a younger age, but that affection was always affection going outward mm, because mm. we never really concentrated <laughs> on being the focus of affection. Right, As a man, right. that wasn't yeah. something that yep. we was calculating right. in our head. It was always show affection, <laughs> so, give affection, so, so. provide. Nah, for real. Like, cause no, that, this that nigga, was he's the, going right. Like, fucking get me. He's getting me tight. Stop, yeah. nigga. Oh, <laughs> but for God. real, like, so he, so Common is saying, like, I never knew a lot. I never understood yeah. that somebody could be that concerned with me. Right. That's the light to right. him. Like, right, like, right, right. I'm the nigga that's always. For me to write you know this. Love has no limit. Let's spend it slow forever. Oh, yeah. I know your heart is weathered by what studs did, did to you. you. I, I ain't going to insult him because I, I probably, probably did, did it too. too. Damn yeah. studs. <laughs> <laughs> because of you, Out there ruining the feelings I handle with care. care. Some, Some niggas, niggas recognize, recognize the light, light, but they, they can't, can't handle, handle your glare. glare. Bars. Yes, sir. Bars. Yeah, he's getting crazy. He goes he's nuts. getting Bars. crazy. Let's talk about that Woo! one time. Has Do y'all think there was, I mean, Rich, it's hard for you. I know you can't really get into these conversations because okay. you've been with the same woman forever. <laughs> but has there ever been a time That's you crazy. feel like there was a woman back in the days that you wasn't ready for? Mo, Seth? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Ike and then you said... No, no, yeah. I'm yeah, saying me, definitely. he can't answer. Well, I can't saying. answer me? this. What, mm -hmm. if, what if... Anyway, get that. Go ahead. Yeah, he did not <laughs> want you to. He did not want you to answer. <laughs> but for me, no, nah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like um, until... Couldn't handle her glare. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it, it didn't even mean necessarily that that her glare was meant that she was the right woman for me. But right. a lot of the handling of women, period, that I did when I was younger was from the perspective of mm -hmm. the guy that could not write this song because I did not receive. I wasn't even in the mindset to understand Rich. that I deserve to receive. Yeah. So my whole objective Damn. in a relationship was to continually shoot out affection, love, and and and, do, and do, do, fucking. Do, do, do. I want to make Bars. you work, you know, all of that. <laughs> That's what I was. That was my whole I, objective in the, in the situation. So yeah. I could have been with the Queen of Sheba, but mm. I wouldn't have realized it because yeah. I was too busy trying to fulfill and and you know all of that type of stuff. So since he said what I was gonna say, mm, this is what I was gonna say though. Mm -hmm. It was like I feel that about my actual wife. Like mm. I felt like I didn't really understand how like I, I knew it but I didn't one, really one know they've been together for a long like, time so they've been through all we've been through different phases of yeah, ourselves we're true, not sir. the same people we were you know what I'm saying? My bad for ago. dismissing you like that, bro. Nah, so <laughs> My you, bad. You, you, you know not what you do. You know yeah. you, you know what I mean you don't mm. know what you don't know, right? Facts. But right but 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 that's what I was literally gonna say. I'm like, you know That was I, an unknown unknown. An unknown unknown, mm. right? So it's like I had yeah. to realize like Oh, this is different. This isn't just the regular thing. You know what I'm saying? Even though I always, and I think what you're saying is important because I always, in my head, was like, oh, I'm going to marry this woman. I always knew that, but I didn't even. You say that on every episode. 14. Yeah. Every episode. Since he was 12. Yeah. He but he to knew. me, it was never about like love and affection. It was just like, I knew as a kid, I wanted a woman that would be a great mom and a great partner. And for me, I always thought she would be a great mom. He was like, this 14-year-old girl going to be a great mom. Oh, yeah, my huh? God. Yeah, one thing, and just to give her a big ups, we, 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 oh, we, we, we ain't going to make this all about her. But what I will say is, I, I always tell, every, I tell everybody this. I'm like, she was the nicest person I knew facts. when I was 14. Yeah, nah, she still is, that's that's a No, no, and that's, 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 that's why you And to me, her. that's enough for me to know. This type of person fact. I would want wow, to have a family that's beautiful. with. Because, yeah, she used to be one of the nicest people I knew. Then we had some conversations, and I realized she's got some things from you. And she's not no, the nicest. You spoiled, spoiled her nicest. She's the nicest person I just told her how to protect nah, herself nah, a little bit. Son, Smart man. Teach your wife these great things. The nicest yeah. people in the world. So are you, are you guys, well, you are clearly, again, the type to rock matching shirts with your woman? Absolutely. Well, I Yo, did that. we were just talking about this. <laughs> like he said, is. The person that No, nah, that's what I said. I, that's what Yo, I keep saying. I, I, I wore is. a shirt with her face on it and drove up to her college for Valentine's Day. Gangsta. Yeah. <laughs> that was we was just talking other. about that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's different. Wow. Fire. And now wow. I think about that was wild too because there's probably there's dudes up there she know messing with and stuff, I don't, whatever, but I'm coming, they probably like, yo, this nigga's wildin'. Well, you know, Common said, you know I ain't the, the type to walk around with matching, matching shirts. shirts. If right. relationship is effort, I, I will, will match your work. 
I want to be the one to make you happiest and hurt you the most. They say the end is near. It's important that we close to the most. To the most high. Regardless of what happened on him, that's a lie. Crazy. Crazy. When you need someone. Because he putting the focus right where it needs to be. Yeah. Because we be putting it in the wrong place sometimes. Nah, he definitely, yeah, he made that clear. Like, it ain't about matching shirts. It ain't about none of this. Special for you and me. That's the. I believe it's Bilal, right? Yeah. yeah. Bilal singing, right? I think so. I don't even know. I think so. All right. Second verse. Um, oh, let's important. talk about the hook real quick, right? There are times where you need someone. I'll be by your side. There is a light that shines special for you and me. Have you. Basically saying there's somebody out there for everybody, man. Yeah. And you know. I know you brought something up early. I don't know if you want to talk about it here. Do you feel like this might be the person that, you know? Well, this is the person I've been fighting for for a while. And, I mean, I know y'all can speak on being married now that mm-hmm. y'all had to fight to get to your, your positions now. So right. it takes work. It takes time. It takes growth. And and it's funny, speaking on this same person, if she watches this, she'll know. We had matching sweaters, too. Mm-hmm. So it's like, Thanks. so. That's a fact. Yeah, so. <laughs> And so, at the end of the day, I Can't mean, nobody find no pictures of me. Only time will tell. <laughs> exactly, but but and you will and match I, her work. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I would match her nah, shirt nah, too, though. But you. that's just. You but know, that's man. and that's crazy because that's what yeah, we're trying work. to do now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like now we got to put the work in and we mm-hmm. got to match that energy, man. And that's. It's just I think it. speaking of the hook, you don't know. Sometimes you, well, at least for me, you don't know that you need something until you have it. Sometimes too, right? And and it shows itself. Like, oh, this is what I've been missing the whole time. Mm-hmm. That's cool too. PS5. Yeah, preach. That's this is all real right here. <laughs> it's important we communicate to the fate of this union to the right pitch. I never call you my bitch, or even my boo. There's so much in the name, there's so much more in you. <laughs> you understand the union of woman and man and sex and the tingle is where soon that it lands. I fly, fly by night, night for you in the sky, right? right. For, for any these cold, cold shot nights, nice moon, moon, you my light. If heaven had a height, you would be that tall. Get with a coffee shop, do you see that, that all? Ooh. Let's stick to understanding, and we won't fall. For better or worse, times are hope to me, you call. All right. All right, Common. This is crazy. Yo, he's saying that's why I mean, I, I, there's I, no more you need to say. Right. He's saying yeah, it. And he keeps he's going. Saying that's it. the crazy part. He's saying it all in this song. Like, and I um I was reading, like, he was like, you know, I guess the last line of this. I'm gonna get through that. So I pray every day more than anything. Friends will stay as, as we, we begin, begin to lay, lay this foundation for a family. family. Love ain't simple. simple. Why can't it be anything, anything worth, worth having? having you, you work, work at, at it annually. annually. Granted, we known each other for some time. It It'll don't take, take a whole day, day to recognize, recognize sunshine. sunshine. He says, like, a lot of people play this at their weddings. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And he didn't expect that when he made the song. Mm. You know what I mean? Why, well, if he well, looked at what he's saying. Yeah, that's crazy. That's Oh, well, that's yeah. at the top of my list now for my tenure. I'm working on <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and, he was, Damn. and he's like, you know, they love that last that's line. Dope. It don't take a whole day to recognize sunshine. And he said he wrote that, like, playfully. Like, he mm. ain't really... But people, that's yeah. the bar. Like that's one of them bars that yeah. people stick by, live by, pause. Um, so um, let's see. Let's where do we start in this? If heaven had a height, you he's just giving. Why not start in the beginning where <sighs> let's it's listen, important. Yeah. Let me communicate. But look at how he changes up the cadence because you gotta do that to get a woman's attention uh-huh. sometimes. Uh-huh. You can't just keep the flow the same. Right. So gonna, that shit starts sounding like uh-huh. to them. So he says it's important we communicate. To change like, it up talk and listen to the same pitch. To you. Yeah. In the right pitch, yeah. word. We gotta be. Yeah. I give a girl a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> not to her face. <laughs> I've never. Yo, you, you did like Kim <laughs> Peele. That's me too, yeah, nigga. Yeah. I wish you would say something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think I. Yeah, like I might have said. Crazy about it. I might have said it under my breath, but loud enough so she could hear. Gotcha. Emo, emotional damage. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. <laughs> but <laughs> Keenan and Peele. How do y'all feel about him saying he never call his boo? Obviously, he has his rights to do whatever he feels. But well, I said this. But I'm sorry. I'll be quick. Karen said this to me once. She was like, "I, I didn't, I didn't usually say her name. Um, you know, just because you know, know somebody for so long. Babe, yeah. yeah. And then I forget one time maybe I said or, she, or what she's once. She was like, you know, it feels good she likes to hear, to her hear name. your name. Yeah, my wife said that to right. me Right, and mm. so it's just interesting that you just brought that up. Never heard that because, you know, they got the memes online where 
a nigga say your name, it's like, that's, that's not my name. My name is Babe. You know that's what I mean? Crazy. The girls oh, yeah, want yeah, that. Because like, when, when you yeah. say they name, usually it's because you're mad at them or something, supposedly. Yeah, well, that's or, you know what I mean? That's a meme online and maybe yeah. it's not true. Right. Or nah, a meme that's what from saying. people like, that not if in you, a healthy relationship. Like I'm saying, I don't know if <laughs> y'all have too. ever done it. Jesus. Uh, yeah. If you've been mad you, at you. Do you call your wife Tansy? No. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying, though, if maybe if I was upset at her one day, and I'm like, yo, Tansy, like, because yeah. I'm trying to be petty, I guess. No, in I, a get sense. It. I get it. You feel I get me? It's saying. like she understands. You don't call me Tansy. Because yeah. it's like your, but if your you just child. Call like, t- exactly. Madison called me Maurice one time, and it, it just tripped me out. I was like, <laughs> wait, what did you say? Yeah. My like, daughter does that like, to like, be funny. Like, <laughs> I felt like you said the memes were. I'm like, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I, don't I, know, think, I, I, I think that's a culture thing, too. I know, no, no, I'm just saying. It's just hilarious. Parents call kids by their full name when they mad. A lot of that stuff is trauma. But also, you know, it is. It's a lot in it's a name. It, people feel good. They feel important. They feel seen when you say their name. Even if you walk down the street, it sounds like, like you're quoting common to me right here. There's so much in a name. You know I, I mean? no, I wasn't. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, but he's correct. But he, he's correct. No, I'm, 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 I'm reading a book right now that's talking about you know how to win people over, and that's a huge part of it. Remember people. So you're name talking about manipulation. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. God level. Yeah. I'm trying to get there. Yeah. We got to work at it, though. Yeah. It's natural for I got to read books. Yeah, it's natural Shame. for them. My wife ain't read a book, and I don't know how long. Yeah. Just do this. And sex. Oh, few understand the union of woman, woman and man. man. And sex and a tingle is where they assume so that it land. land. Uh-huh. But that's, that's fly, fly by, by night for you in the sky, sky right? right? Yes, sir. These cold, cold shy nights, nights moon, moon, you my light. Yikes. Heaven had a height. You be that tall. All right, um, let's Whew. see, let's if see. If heaven we... had a height, you would be that tall. Yeah, Let, he's nuts. That's praise right there, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's super praise. I want to talk about this foundation for a family. Love ain't simple. Why can't it be? Anything worth having, you, you work, work at it annually. annually. Mm-hmm. That right there is the one. That's a fact. That's the one for me right there. Nah, nah. Because it's, 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 it's the man. one for all mankind, though. Yeah. <laughs> because we're not the ones, and, and you know, I love, love my ladies to death. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not the ones that say things like, if it was if it was meant to be, it wouldn't be so hard. Of right. course it would be. Anything yeah. that's worth anything mm-hmm. is yeah. so right. hard. Thanks. It's supposed to be so hard. Or what's the reward for if it's easy? Everybody would have it. Right. Like That's not how it goes, though. Mm. Let's jump into this verse three real quick. Yes, sir. How, how does this flow go, guys? How does it go for me? It's kind of fresh. You listen to more than hip hop. And I catch you in the mix from, from beauty, beauty to thrift, thrift shop. shop. Plus you shit pop, pop when it's time to. Thinking, thinking you fresh to judge and beast, I should rhyme to. At times when I'm lost, I try to find you. You, you know, know you give me space, space when it's time, time to. Yeah, right there. My heart's dictionary defines right you. It's love and happiness. Truthfully, it's hard trying to and practice, practice abstinence. abstinence. The time we committed love, it was real good. Had to be for me to revive and it still feel good. I know that sex ain't gonna keep you. But as my equal, that's how I must treat you. Yes, sir. And my reflection in light, I'ma lead you. And whatever is right, I'ma feed you. Yo, I tell you the rest when I see you. This is one of the best songs ever created. It is. Oh my god. It has to be. I'm gonna say not not the best song. I'm gonna say say top ten. I didn't say raps though. Well, I was gonna say top ten rap song. But this is one of the best songs. songs Yeah, I'm with that. And I gotta say too, which is crazy about this song, why it it holds a a, 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 besides him being one of my top three artists, right? Mm -hmm. Um, when I first heard it. Back, and again, this one probably show my age, but it, it was a place called B Street, Our in age. Brooklyn, mm, yeah. Brooklyn, New York. B-Street when they had the classic. DJ, it was yeah. a record store, and, they and be I remember, spinning and, in and, there. and and we were just going there sometimes. We ain't buying that. We just want to see what's mm-hmm. new, see what the new. But yes, he would he played that song and to that the point where that. I was like, yo. Crazy. What song is he was like? Oh, this is off the new comment. Mm-hmm. I think the album wasn't even out yet. Mm-hmm. Like Water for Chocolate, right? That's yeah. all. Yeah, the, Water from Chocolate wasn't out yet, but that was a single coming drop. And it was, it just, it. I mean, everything he's saying in it, man. And I said like, this on Instagram, because of this song is why I have to take back my take of Lupe being the best <laughs> Chicago rapper. So who's the best Chicago <laughs> rapper? Clearly it's common. Yes. If Kanye, you have one of the best songs of all time. He has a couple just, of the best. That's like, the fact. He's crazy. That's well. so that's like, song. I'll, but let then, y'all, I'll let y'all live when y'all was talking crazy. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't y'all. I mean, but I'm glad I wasn't here. I wasn't here. It would have been no question for me. It was, it was them. No, it's, 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 Lupe. it's Kanye, Common, Lupe. I'm still sticking with it, but Kanye nah, don't write his own rhymes, so he can't. Yeah, and yeah. just another uh, fun fact: when he said the thicker thigh, thicker thigh, he said 
originally he laid that and planned to come back and put words into yeah. it. And then he said he wrote it. He said he, he recorded it like 20 different times, but it didn't sound as smooth as when What's he first that? laid this, so he left it. I, I thought that's that he, I thought wow, he said that. that. I thought that that's he crazy. said that because at the time he was dating Erica Badu and she has thicker thighs. And she thighs. was thicker thighs. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That's what I thought. When I but Mo, it. you were saying, what part? Oh, what, that's that. At times that, when I'm lost, I try to find you. You know you give me space, space when, it's when it's time, time to. Because that, to me, could go, it's so many layers on that, man. Because obviously as, as men, you know, we don't ever, we want our space when we need it. We hate to be crowded in a certain way. At the same time, that that's the same thing about like in a headspace, like you know, um, yeah. being stressed out. It's like a, a good woman knows how to deal with that and knows how to, and and and, and, and yeah, no, nah, I get, it, but you know what I'm saying. Basically, that I agree because it's this like light multiple chick, meanings. This light chick is the perfect woman. She really she is. She was created man. especially for a nigga, like she was, because she understands every nuance that yeah. means anything to a man to make him feel the way he needs to feel to take care. Of so what this is one of the situations y'all can't be like, oh, this was written by. Nah, this was definitely written by a dude about the perfect woman, <laughs> right. basically. Um. But yeah, give me that space when it's time to. That's mm-hmm. that's just that 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 meant a lot to me. Just real quick, yeah. I like even you know I, I got a friend. He's married, and I remember him and his wife might have went through some, and she gave him space. Like you know, what I mean, said, "Listen, you need to go." Yeah, uh, uh, space is grace. And I was yeah. like, "What? It's a different. That's space beautiful. Grace, you know, that's, that's beautiful." Um, but yeah, let's get into our favorite parts of this verse, oh, guys. That's easy for me. All right, so then start it off, Rich. Um. It was yeah, I oh I want to be the one to make you happiest and hurt you the most. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, they the say the part? end is near. Yeah, it's important, important that, that we close to the most. Ah, regardless of what happens on him, him let's rely. rely. But the oh, you know, um, make you happiest and hurt you the most. You know what goes up must come down. Polarization. That's just life. And the thing yeah. that it, and like Seth said earlier, the thing that's gonna be best for you is gonna be hard to get gonna be a challenge so i think that's that that's how you know you got something special it's gonna mm-hmm. be ups and downs but you know let's just rely on god and you know it'll work out Shit. and yeah. unfortunately we end up that's what ends up happening people you love the most hurt you the most big you it's on you yeah, i like that my my shit is um if you understand the union of woman and man, man, and sex in the tangle is where they assume that it, it land. land, but that's fly by night for you, you in the sky, sky right. right? For in these cold, shy nights, moon, you, you my, my light. light. Ooh, mm. That's cold. Mm. The, ooh, poetry and motion. Yeah, that was very that's, poetic. I think I'm going to write some of this down as a letter and give it to my wife so, and act like I wrote it. It's right. She yeah. probably doesn't know these lines, right? These lines. This song here? This is crazy. But it probably won't even sound like like how you said you didn't know the cadence. So if you're mm. reading this, and you ain't gonna know. Yeah, but nah. But them words. Them even words. If she read it. Yeah. Like, yeah. The word. I mean, no, I, the I'm, words. I'm just saying, like you won't is, know it's a I song. Actually, oh yeah, 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 Reading the words, yeah, like right. whoa, you you. Yeah, and it's crazy. I write pretty dope letters every now and then to my wife. But that's dope. On you, Mo. What's your favorite part? Well, I don't have the words, but I know I, it's the um. If heaven had a height, you would be that tall. So the before and after that, that's in that. Get over the coffee shop. Do you? I see that all. Let's stick time understanding that we, we won't, won't fall, fall for better or worse times i hope to me you call mm. that was about to be my part right there that oh, yeah, that's that's, that's my part too i was going let's stick to understanding that we won't fall for better or worse times i hope to me you call that shit is crazy. so i pray every day more than anything friends will stay as we mm. begin to, to lay. lay the foundation for a family mm-hmm. love ain't simple why, why can't, can't it be, be? Anything, anything worth having, having you work, work at, at it annually, annually. boss yikes <sighs> Shout out the to Common, Shot the Town, shout out to Top, shout out to Rashid, Lonnie, Lynn, nigga. Yes, mm. yes sir. Mm. And what, 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 what's the show? They're like the, 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 they're making fun of us. I don't remember. For real? Shout out to yeah. Mojo pulling up yeah. and giving y'all all of this insight on love and affection. Yes, sir. Love and you affection. Feel me? Yeah, man. And I appreciate yeah, I love Shout out to me and Seth wearing the same to outfit James Rich, today. <laughs> Big you. And me, me and this, Ike looking like working niggas. Shout out to that episode of Verse with Verse. Looking alike. It's Twins. me. Niggas, twin. And that's why I have to put my chain up. Tell us so your favorite comment. Like song, chain. whatever. We out of here. When you Right in my style, I hope they got dinner plans. Don't get it straight from the source and cut out the middle. Where you get, get that? 
pure what you get and get that pure what you do go get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man then you get that pure dope